is Jill with Crick Flicks, and this that I'm going to be filming right now, in order for dinosaurs, um, it's prehistoric parties. Is the name? Well, I got the I've got it on the box here. I'll start out by telling you before I put this one together. It's three um, two footers. Uh, the boxes, the wood boxes that I was using, I was saying in the last video, which I've not been able to upload any of them, so this is going to be old news. I found some other boxes that I absolutely love, um, celebrate at um, Michael's, and they were on clearance, and I went online to see if I could get more, and of course I can. Every time I change, you can get a different kind of box to use as a base. They run out. But anyway... Uh, this is actually a box with a ribbon. There's two holes on the side here because it had a ribbon. And what I'm going to do with those holes on the side, and I don't think this is the right one. It isn't. That one has to be nailed into something. I don't know what. So I'm going to use these. I've got some little brads here, and I'm going to fill the hole with the brad because I took the ribbon out. They didn't have ribbon back in the dinosaur days. Um, can somebody reach out here and help me open this? Oh, God, I glued it shut. I guess they were afraid I was shopping with Mila, and they knew she was going to tear anything open she could. That was a joke, and only those that know me would have a clue what I was talking about. Anyway, now that's stuck on my finger. I'm betting a thousand here, guys. Uh, come on. I got tape stuck on my finger. I am going to put brads in these holes. And I'm using the bigger brads because it's a big hole. But I don't want to just leave it. And if I had big black brads, that's what I would be using. But I don't have them. So it, silver it is. And they just look like um, uh, tacks of some sort. I don't know what sort though. Okay, that box is done. These come black. I got them black, white, red gold yep gold um and i love them they're a really hard box and they're absolutely perfect for centerpieces but like i said it was one of those uh one shot deals so i forgot to need my sticks here some of them anyway i don't have enough room guys i just simply don't have enough room it's a fact okay i'm gonna set it on my lap and i've already got a peg in his leg so what i'm going to use it for is i'm putting him on a rock because, not because, it's because um, these pieces with the box and everything should be two feet tall. Um, and the image that goes on top of the box is 18 inches tall. Here's the problem, and I've talked about this numerous videos. I go whatever gives me 18 inches first. This particular um, theme, the length of this dinosaur is over 18 inches and I had to move them, scoot them around to get them on my mat. So he looks smaller than the others, substantially smaller, but that that's how it is. I do want him to stand taller here, so I'm adding on a rock. I was trying to think, what could I possibly do to make him look bigger? Because I don't want him to look different than, than the rest of them. I want him to look relative, relatively the same. So this is what I'm going to do. And I want the rock and that way yeah it'll work um i'm going to take advantage of the peg that's in here and glue it onto the rock this is how i'm fixing not fixing this is how i'm making better this particular centerpiece better and bigger so let me Mm. Spent the entire, entire day outside. Didn't come in except to use the little ladies' room. Um, and I was out with the kids, with Mila and Ellie. And I did have to come in and get her out of, the, out of her nap, out of the crib. Um, it was an absolutely gorgeous day. But I told my daughter, um, Isab or Mila, who's two, two I, she was outside for the whole day. And I said, and she's going to drop when she gets in the car. She's going to fall asleep immediately. Um, she doesn't nap. She quit napping a year ago. She's been the toughest kid of all my grandkids. She's been the hardest. But she's also absolutely the cutest thing. She's just <gasps> such a doll. We have so much fun with her because she is just crazy. She's crazy like her nama. 
that would be me. I'm Nama. And it's so funny because I speak only Spanish to her. I don't, I don't speak to her in English at all. And she understands everything perfect. My husband also speaks strictly Spanish. Um, but she will always answer in English, which I know is very, very common. Uh, and my niece's kids were the same way. They, they wouldn't respond in, um, I don't want that to bend at all. I'm thinking here, but I want to put another simple stick in here, a little one. Um, they did when they were older, they started where they w would speak Spanish and now they would, they, they do all the time, but when they're little and the guy that does my nails, uh, is, is Vietnamese and, um, he speaks only English to his kids. And I th thought that was funny. Um, cause usually they don't do that. I don't know. People just usually teach their kids. Guys, I am so afraid that this isn't going to balance. It doesn't, it looks like it's going to wobble. So let me stand it up before I glue the lock on. Yeah. No, yeah, man, maybe. Yeah, I am thinking I need to put another, if I can fit another post in here. I don't want this moving at all. So let me see if I can slide something in there. Okay, guys, I just, I need to strengthen that. How long do I want that? Right there, that'll work. Let me see if I take this guy's toe, fold it back, because it wasn't glued down good anyway. And all I'm trying to do is, is I want this to make sure that he does not move. So I'm gonna stick a peg in there. I should have used a small peg, but I think I'll put the rock up over it so it doesn't show. That's what I'll do, guys. And let me see if that makes him a little stronger. Yes, once it's glued together, that will make him stronger. I did good, guys. I did it. I did it. I did it. Um, by the time you get any of these videos, I have done probably four in the last few days. Um, I did a haul that I was wound up like I was on crack, um, crazy crack, and I had a bunch of videos, and I can't get them to upload in, it's not loading in my cloud, and they, I need, they need to go from my cam my phone to my, my iMac, and they always have, but now for some reason they won't, and nobody seems to know why, and I've been going through it and checking over and over and over again, trying to figure out why. So anybody listening that possibly knows what I could be looking at as to why my pictures no longer go from my can't my phone to my um, um, lap, my desktop or my laptop. It doesn't go to anything. It's like it's not on the cloud and I don't know why. And I've checked and the cloud is open. It, it's on, I mean. Um, and this just started probably, well, I'd say at least a month it's been going on, but but I can't, I can't upload the videos I'm taking. I keep doing them and I can't do anything with them because it, it's not going into the cloud. And then when I try, oh, maybe what I'll try and do is hook it up directly with the USB and see if I can get them off my phone directly onto my external hard drive and see if I can upload them that way. So you will know today is Tuesday, April something, 27th. And I'm going to see, because if you see this today or tomorrow, you'll know it worked, that I hooked it up directly. Okay, there we go, guys. I gave him the height I needed. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself, guys. I just want to say that because I can. And I already admitted in the beginning that I'm a little bit out there, a little bit crazy, but... My husband watches these game shows now. He reminds me of a I Love Lucy show or something because he sits and watches these. I, I shouldn't say all day because he's helping with the kids and, and doing things around here because my husband does everything. He's he's a, he's my hero. But I was watching it and I, now I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. There was something. 
Oh my God, that's when I have a conversation. I can't remember what we're gonna say. I have to finish glittering. He's glittered in the front. So this is one of them. Um, this guy is only 18 inches, but look at how huge he looks. Because his whole body is huge. He doesn't have this great big long tail, so he looks bigger. Um, and he's got a different kind of box. Uh, it's got handles on the side. I've got to add something on yet, which I'll do in, before I take the pictures. And I think I'm going to use some of my moss around here at the top on the boxes. And then we have him. And again, he's tall and his tail is longer, but he worked great. And I'm going to try to take some close-up portrait, whatever, so you can see with the glitter on it. These guys look like they're going to come out and bite me. They're awesome. But anyway, uh, I had to just do that because I don't have anything else to do. No, um, that's pretty much it. I, there's a reason that I started filming in the first place, but that's left and that's left the house and I don't have any idea where it is. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And again, if anybody has any clue as to why my phone that I use to film is not, my pictures aren't uploading. I still, I'm going to plug in directly, but I still want to know because it did it all along and then all of a sudden it stopped and I don't know why. Anyway, that has nothing to do with the dinosaurs, but I'm sharing. Um, thank you again and have a great day. Bye-bye.